ex-husbands are suspect. <laughs> but stepdads are awesome. <laughs> Can you tell which one I am? <laughs> stepdads are like superheroes. I keep telling my partner to make me a cape. She won't make me one. That's okay, I can still fly. I can fly to soccer practice, I can fly to fourth grade musicals, I can fly to middle school dances and land on runways paved with precious youth, carrying precious cargo, encouraging the passengers to enjoy the ride, it'll all be over in a matter of precious moments. The girl is 13, we have a lot in common, she's a writer, gifted, likes mythology, but I don't have the heart to tell her not to fly too close to the sun. The boy's a little younger, also just like me, energetic, with a heart of gold. He likes video games, sometimes I'm the bad guy. I tell him, I don't care if your dad lets you play Call of Duty, you're only 10 years old and that shit's violent, yo. Okay, I don't really tell him that, but his mom does. Without the expletive. And I support her, because the only Call of Duty I've ever known is stepping up to help a single mother become a double mother. Wow. Half of my childhood was spent on the other half of this equation. My mom married a man that I've never called stepdad and is nothing like a superhero. Yeah. But he helps me out every day. When it comes to important decisions regarding the children, I just think about what he would do and do the opposite. <laughs> it's working out pretty well so far. You know, it's ironic. The same ingredients used to bake poetic food for thought can be useful when attempting to cook up a successful parenting scheme. First, you're gonna need feeling. People like to feel good or sad. Sometimes sad is good. Then you're gonna need a sense of humor. And it's funny, when you become an adult, you'll know when it happens because they'll ask you for things, things you never had before, but you do now and you'll give it to them. You'll give it all to them. Then you're gonna need closure after a passionate disagreement. Tupac had a song called, I Ain't Mad At Ya. And I think he put it best when he said, I ain't mad at ya. <laughs> Most importantly, you're gonna need heart. And I know that sounds corny, but being a stepdad's corny. Just trying to be a positive influence. There's enough negativity in the world. The ex-husband in question once saw me walking and talking to myself and videotaped me. Now, I wasn't drinking at that time in my life, so I wasn't drunk. And I don't do drugs, so I wasn't high. I guess it might look kind of weird. You know what, it wasn't weird. I had poems to recite. I had lyrics to learn. I had songs to sing. I'm like a fucking superhero. So divorce, say what you will, but she's got heart. Superstar soccer mom with a clean laundry smile. Spin cycle, dryer sheet, music on dial. Split custody every other week we get the kids. Part-time family, man, what a life it is. Yeah.